What's up guys, CJ here and welcome back to another all new hybrid news now where we'll get you caught up on all the top stories from around the comic book world. Today's video is brought to you by Loot Crate. You can save 10% on any Loot Crate subscription just by using our exclusive link www.trylootcrate.com slash hybrid network and then the promo code bridge10. But let's get down to the news. In our top stories for today's fun-sized video, we've got some incredible new details and some incredible new footage from Spider-Man Homecoming, courtesy of Comic-Con Experience in Brazil. And then to round out our day, we'll talk a little Supergirl and a certain impish villain headed to National City later this season. First up though, we've got to talk about that Spider-Man footage. It is massive. It debuts an entirely new scene, never seen before, and confirms something pretty major that had been rumored about Spider-Man's new costume. The footage primarily focused around one scene in particular, featuring Peter Parker talking to, surprisingly, Tony Stark's chief of security and driver, Happy Hogan, played once again by Jon Favreau. After some playful back and forth, Happy gives Peter a briefcase, which he says is an upgrade straight from Tony Stark himself. The footage then cut to a shot of Spider-Man backflipping off a building, which some reports say was the Washington Monument, then opening his arms wide to reveal, yes, the iconic web wings. It took five whole movies, but they finally got it right. This perfectly falls in line with what they were aiming for with the first suit from Civil War, keeping it very classic, very close to that Steve Ditko design, and the web wings just fall right in line with that. As for when we potentially might see that new suit in, maybe say the first full trailer, the final slide of that panel's presentation was of course in Portuguese, but it did seem to indicate that yes, the trailer will be coming soon. And I don't personally speak Portuguese, but my good friend Google Translate does, and according to that very rough translation, this becomes this. Coming soon, world's first trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming. Which, if Google Translate could even do grammar, would probably say, world premiere trailer for Spider-Man Homecoming, coming soon. And we do know it'll be with Rogue One at the latest, but hopefully we get a little glimpse of it before then, right? On to our last story of the day, we've gotten a confirmation that a certain impish fifth dimensional being will be making his way to Supergirl. That's right, Mr. Mix's Pitplick will be making his way to Supergirl later this season for a two episode run. In his two most recent appearances, he's kind of been morphed to better fit the show that he's appearing on. For example, in Smallville, he was a fellow high school student, Mikhail Mix's Pitplick, who could influence anybody that could hear him speak. Before that, on Lois and Clark, where he was played by Howie Mandel, of all people, his powers seemed more like Q from Star Trek Next Generation, but he was actually fairly comic accurate, especially in the way that they got rid of him. I point this out because Supergirl has been a little bit of a mixed bag in terms of how accurately they portray the source material. For example, their Superman is very, very classic Golden Age Superman in a way, but other characters like Cyborg Superman and Metallo, they've been morphed to better fit the show. So, common question of the day for you guys, how do you think Supergirl will handle this character? Do you think he'll be very straight and as comic accurate as possible, or will they morph him to fit the show better? Let me know your answer for that question in the comment section down below, but this video has been brought to you by Loot Crate. Yes, Loot Crate, if you haven't heard about it, it's this amazing subscription service that sends you a box of cool goodies every single month with each item in the box relating to a unique monthly theme. This month's theme is Revolution, with items from Firefly and Assassin's Creed, just to name a few. With the holidays coming up, a subscription to Loot Crate is a great gift, and you can get it even cheaper with 10% off any subscription just by using our exclusive link, trylootcrate.com slash hybrid network. Again, that's trylootcrate.com slash hybrid network, and the promo code BRIDGE10 to get those savings. But that's going to do it for today's video. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw and subscribe for more great content every single day. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.